Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be doing a get ready with me makeup look and I really wanted to do something that was autumn inspired because I think that this month of the year is the most beautiful month of all. I love these reds, oranges, yellows, and these deep plum shades that I keep seeing. So I wanted to incorporate those in my look today. This is inspired by autumn leaves. So think about the leaves changing to these beautiful colors. That's what I wanted to incorporate in this makeup look. And I used a lot of mattes on my eyes and I used a really pretty dark red warm lip that I think you guys would really like. If you do like the way my look turned out right now, then make sure that you like this video and subscribe if you haven't. And share this video with any friends that love fall makeup or autumn. I think that they would really enjoy this get ready with me talk through video. So this is gonna be super relaxed and we're just gonna kind of chat and hang out today and I'm gonna talk about some of these products. So if you guys would like to know how I got this autumn inspired makeup look, then just keep on watching. So to start this look out, we're going to be priming our skin with the Becca Backlit Priming Filter. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of this into my palm and I'm going to massage it into my skin. This primer will also really highlight your skin underneath your makeup and make you glow from within, which is why I really love it. It's also super hydrating and it just makes your skin look really, really good. So for foundation, I am using the Ofra Absolute Cover Foundation and this is such a nice, really light foundation that's great for this time of year because it's very hydrating on the skin if you have drier skin. This is a really, really great foundation and I'm using this on the Artiste brush because it buffs it in amazing and I'll show you guys how good. So I'm just putting a little bit on the brush because a little does go a long way with this foundation. The thing that I really love about using this brush with foundation is how it gives you such a natural finish to your foundation. It's not cakey. I'm gonna take a little bit more of it and also blend it down my neck because I definitely don't want this to look like I'm wearing a mask. This brush basically does all of the work for you. Like you don't even have to blend that much and it does everything, I just love it. So now I'm going in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. And this is also pretty light coverage. It does cover really good, but it's not cakey or thick. It's really, really beautiful. And I'm using this in a shade called Light Neutral, which matches the foundation I'm wearing today, so it's not super over the top. I'm taking the shade Light Warm in the Naked Skin Concealer, and this is a lot lighter than the one I used under my eyes. And I am going to highlight with this concealer. I like to bring it onto the center of the face, just to draw in a little bit of light and brightness. So I think you guys would be excited to know that I am actually working on a lookbook right now and it's kind of like a fall lookbook. So all fall clothing and it's really, really cute. I think that you guys will really enjoy this one. I just, I didn't realize how much I loved shopping for clothes. I normally am not super big on shopping at all, but with all this fall style going on, I am so excited. During fall, it just makes you want to wear like cute clothes because that's all that there is in the store. There's just the cutest clothes. I hate summer clothes. I just, I never really like it. I don't like shorts. I hate tank tops. I just like long sleeves, jackets, nice boots, and like fall clothes are just the best. And not to mention scarves. So to set under my eyes, I'm just using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder on a brush. I haven't found another one that I like better. This one is just amazing. I think this is so interesting. I've seen people take this powder on a fan brush and instead of like kind of um, like kind of packing it on, they just kind of dust it, which I think is really nice because if you don't want super powdery finishes when it comes to your foundation, this is like really nice. And I actually have been doing this and it gives you such a lighter coverage of powder. I did my uncle's wife's uh, makeup for her wedding this weekend and I actually used this technique and it gave her the most like flawless finish and I definitely wanted to try it on myself after because I wanted to go for a very natural finish on her makeup. So I did this technique on her and it looked really, really nice. All right, so for brows, you guys already know, I am obsessed with this pencil. And all I like to do is basically just define the outer area of the brow and then I kind of go in and fill in and also the spoolie end of this brush it helps you comb the product through the brow, which is really, really nice. The cool thing about this pencil is when you get to the front of your brow, you can actually start drawing in little hairs because it is so thin. So now I'm gonna set them using the Ready Set Brow Gel, which is a clear brow gel. 
and it has a little comb on it, which is perfect for kind of feathering out your brows. All right, so now that we got our brows filled in, I'm gonna move on to the eyes and zoom you guys in so you guys can see this autumn eye look. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is prime your lids with MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot or a concealer, because this is gonna help our eyeshadows stay on longer and last throughout the day. So next, I am going into the Morphe 350 Matte, and I am gonna take this orange shade right here at the top, and I'm gonna blend this into the crease. And I am just gonna blend that orange right into the upper crease area because what we're gonna do is we are going to lightly and gradually blend from orange down into a deep berry red. Next, you want to go in on a smaller brush and bring that color down into the lower lash line. Next, I'm going to go in with this really dark reddish orange and I'm going to pop that onto the lid area. And I'm just taking that dark red and also bringing this down into the lower lash line, but I'm keeping it pretty tight. Another thing you could do while doing your eyeshadow like this, you will get some fallout. So if you take a little bit of powder and kind of pack it underneath your eyes, if you do get any fallout, you can just brush it off right after. I'm gonna take the Makeup Geek eyeshadow in the shade Bitten right here, which is a dark red, and I'm going to pack this right onto the lid to really make it very dramatic and dark. And I want the lid to be the darkest area of the eye look, so I want all of these colors to kind of fade into this dark red. So now I'm just lining the waterline with a black liner, and this is by Tarte. This is the double take liner. So now I'm just popping on some mascara and we're gonna put on some false lashes. And now I'm just popping on some really pretty lashes by Revlon. These are kind of similar to the Ardell Wispies, but they're a little bit longer. So now I'm taking this really pretty yellow gold by Makeup Geek, and this is in the shade Fortune Teller. And I'm gonna pop this right into the inner corner of the eye. And this is the finished autumn eye look. So for bronzer and contour, I'm gonna be kind of combining the two and using the Hoola by Benefit and I'm gonna be using this on a tart brush and I'm gonna kind of just contour and also bronze at the same time. And I'm kind of bringing this up into the hairline to kind of warm up my skin. I'm also gonna take a little bit more of that bronzer and start contouring my nose a little bit just to define it. So because I wanted to keep this whole orange reddish color kind of going, I'm gonna use the shade Summer Fling, which is by Makeup Geek and this is a beautiful orange blush and I'm just going to pop this onto the tops of the cheekbone area and kind of bring it forward onto the apples of my cheeks. And this gives like a really warm glow, very fall. For highlight today, I'm using the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Highlight, and this is in number two. This is the gold one. They came out with two different ones, and I got both of them, but this one is perfect for this look. It's very, very gold and warm, so I'm gonna just go ahead and highlight a little bit with this. I'm not gonna go too over the top. I kind of like to add it just kind of around the face on the high points. So the chin, I'm using this Artiste brush to kind of highlight the nose because it's like really rounded. All right, so for lips, I'm gonna use the Ofra Cosmetics Havana Nights Liquid Lipstick, and this is the most beautiful color because it's very warm. It's a red, but it's still like a really warm color you could wear with eye looks like this, and it's very, very fall. So to set my whole face, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, and this is so long lasting. I love it, and I go pretty crazy with it. And that way, when you set your face, it will really prolong your makeup. So if you're wearing this look out to maybe like a dinner or a party, or if you're going out for the day, if you set your face with the All Nighter, it keeps it on, like no matter what. You could go outside and maybe it's sprinkling a little bit, and it will just kind of slide off your face. It's kind of like a good representation of what it is. It's kind of like when you get Uggs, and you get the spray that you spray on your Uggs, and when you go outside and walk in the water, it just kind of like bubbles off. This is like that, 